summer is on its way, so we thought it was time for a quick review of your website. Anyone who knows us will tell you that we have a website analysis service that checks over 100 key principles and elements on a website. Now, in the next few minutes, we're going to look at five of those critical elements so that you can understand them better and apply it to your website. Numero uno, number one, broken links. How many broken links does your website have right now? Because search engines loathe broken links. Whether these are misspelled pages or pages that have been deleted. Go check your website now for broken links. Check the internal links are all working and that all the content pages that you think should be there are in place. Number two, linking to iffy sites. Are the websites that your site links out to still there and are they active? And are they the same site that you set up originally to link to? Well, Google makes it very clear. It doesn't like sites that link to bad sites or what it calls bad neighborhoods. This can have an adverse effect on your website's rankings. So what you wanna check is that A, these sites are still live and active and B, that they are genuine and of good quality. Principle number three, keyword stuffing. Including keywords in your website copy is a basic part of SEO. However, are you repeating the keywords too many times? This would be called keyword stuffing. An overuse of keywords is likely to be frowned upon by the major search engines, so what you're looking for is an appropriate balance. Point number four is all about duplicate content. Can I find the same content that's on one page of your website on many other pages of your site? Or even worse, can I find it on other domains? If so, you're effectively duplicating content and search engines will not thank you for this. If you're taking the same content with the same navigation and placing it on additional domains, then you do run a risk that the search engines may come along, filter out or even ignore those additional websites. And finally, point number five, to borrow the slogan from Google, don't be evil. Ask yourself this, are you doing anything with your website right now that you wouldn't feel comfortable explaining to a competitor or to Google? If so, then you're probably taking an unnecessary risk with your online business. With so many legitimate ways to promote a business online these days, it's time to leave behind anything you think is underhand. Okay, there you go. There's five free tips to get you going with your website review this summer. Obviously, it's only a small part of the work we do for our clients, but we hope it's been useful to you. My name is Gareth Davis, and until next time, stay lucky. Stay lucky.